Hi guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Don't you girl, because Kyle in the building. Yo, in a day, Miguel, I did If you found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days, I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. Um, how y'all doing today? I'm doing great. I haven't seen you guys in such a long time. I haven't seen you guys in such a long time. Anyways, today I'm gonna talk a little bit about the first time going in the emergency room. And guys, I've had the baby already. I have a beautiful baby girl. Her nickname is Baby Rose. And she is so big. Girl, love her food like her mother and her father. I love her, is he? Baby Rose. Anyways, Baby Rose asleep now. Um, I'm going to tell you, say, yeah, I'm going to give you some story times. The first story time is the first time that I um, got rushed to the emergency room and I got admitted in the hospital. Um, for my pregnancy and stuff like that. So that was very scary. So that's where the roller coaster actually starts And that's where I start if you're on my channel for the first time Please remember to give this video a thumbs up hit that subscription button and turn on your post notification bell because your girl is back Your girl is back. We hate to that. I don't know. I'm going to upload it. can. All right, so It was a glorious Wednesday Oh, well, Wednesday afternoon. Yeah Um, me and Punky decides to oh May I go and be able to deal with some stuff. Because you know you have business to run like. I run businesses and I have to go to tax office and something. So this says we have a tax office. And I'm going to go to the doctor for my hand. This hand is actually hurting me now still. I'm still in distress because I can't get nothing for the hand. Because I'm breastfeeding. Just had a newborn. So they can't give me any strong medications to fix it. Hello. Want to see me new quality? Quality good. <laughs> <laughs> anyways yeah they can't give me anything to fix it so i decided that i'm going to check out my hand because my hand has been hurting me two months prior and there is no way me i said i can sleep on my hand so bad that it didn't hurt me for two months straight so i decided say well i'll go to doctor make the doctor check it out i'll get an x-ray come never know so i could get x-ray i'm a pregnant anyways i said i can't get an x-ray but they're gonna examine the hand just the same so each time you go to the doctor when you're pregnant you have to do like a urine test and stuff like that um but this was not my i hope it's not fake enough this was not my original um doctor for the pregnancy the gynecologist no it was just like a regular doctor so i went and i checked my blood pressure my blood pressure like was really high i mean i say I'm not really trouble with high blood pressure, but Lee was like, Oh, your blood pressure is so high. Um, let us do a urine test to check to see if protein is in your urine. Me must see the hand me go about, you know. So them check the hand. If you don't see it look distorted now, they check the hand. During pregnancy, you can develop something called carpal tunnel. That's what I develop. If you do a lot of typing jobs and stuff like that, um, you'll develop that. Um nonetheless if you don't do typing jobs you still can develop it so in your hand there is a bone inside called the carpal so there you see big finger this a finger and this a finger here you run through the carpal tunnel mainly that's where the pain is this a finger here when i move it i feel my hand don't up here so out of place so this a finger here this a finger then three here normally hurt me but for now the big finger control down here so will hurt me and the pain is right here in my wrist. Very hot. Sometimes I'm take up a baby. I feel like a baby will drop out of my hand. The hand weak. Like when I take up my food for eat, my plate, I can't take it up. Hey boy! Mama, you have to pump some milk for the baby. I gotta pump milk. Should we wake up? Mm, you wake up? Lord Jesus. 
All right, may I come? Anyways, I'm going to the doctor and the doctor check my blood pressure. My blood pressure is really telling move what I have you. The excuse done. Go look for the baby if you wake. Mama over there and pull you. So why you can't look? No. Anyways, I don't want to nice. So even though the hand hurt me because I'm breastfeeding, I can't get the medication or anything. Um, This is my first son, Tywin. <laughs> I know I have a daughter. <laughs> a joke. Tywin is my... My wish son. Anyways, <laughs> excuse. Tell it to five billion dollar. Um when they take my blood pressure it was really high, over one fifty. And then they take my protein and then my protein in the <sighs> urine. And I had one plus protein. You're not supposed to have any protein in your urine along with a high blood pressure that means I can knock out and drop down at any time. Backtrack a little bit when I found out that I had to go by the hospital. Hospital. And I was like, Mama, <laughs> you said, I have to go by the hospital. Me, Jesus. Melissa, no go up there. Come home. No go up there. Mommy, she in a background. Because me never know so punky call and tell him, say, me have to be admitted. Melissa, don't go up to the hospital. Don't go up there. Be very sick, you know. <laughs> I said, me have to go to the hospital. Then you said, me in a serious condition, emergency. Because I didn't tell you guys. So, what I was developing in the beginning stages of developing is something called preeclampsia. Very important that you know the symptoms because my face was very swollen. My, my fingers and my feet were very swollen. We never know what it was. But luckily, I knew what preeclampsia was because I was doing some research. And I was seeing a video by Tatiana. Her mother was explaining what preeclampsia was. So I was aware of the symptoms. So if you have preeclampsia and you don't know. And you go in a labor, um, natural labor. You can lick your head, mash up your organs and stuff like that. It's very dangerous for you and the baby. Partnered with the, 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 the high blood pressure and the protein in the urine. Are signs of preeclampsia. The swelling of the face. The swelling of the fingers and the swelling of the feet. is very important. It's, it's, a, it's an emergency. And it's something that needs to be corrected. Luckily, I caught it early because of the bad on here. And I had time to like, you know, um, work to correct it before it get out of hand. It never reached preeclampsia stage yet, but it was getting there. I, have, I had all the symptoms of developing preeclampsia. If I didn't go to the doctor at that time when I went, I had a problem. Anyways, my parents didn't want me to go, but me no say if doctor say I need to go to hospital emergency, you need to go. They were scared because of the COVID and stuff like that. I was scared because of COVID too. But really and truly, me and me catch COVID a long time. And last year, November, before COVID was a thing, I caught it. So, I don't know if I'm vaccinated already. I'm baking. So, and if you're pregnant, that means chances are you are a, like a high risk. I turned a high risk patient at that time. So, the doctor, what the doctor did, the doctor that I went, called my gynecologist and told him what was happening and he was like oh send her off to the hospital Connell regional may i say like mr go hospital no but it did baby pop pack already so we never know if we care so we care everything including my stuff and the baby stuff because me never know what they go um at this time i was like eight months yeah around eight months pregnant so eight months are seven and a half seven seven to eight months yeah seven to eight months pregnant so that day me and punky the guy doctor my breakdown anyways i had to come back home for my bag and then i went off to the hospital mm -hmm. i thought that they were just gonna check me and send me home when i went to the hospital it was a deplorable condition my car mr rose mr. rose come come uh like to stay with me to get three process but Oh, hospital set up now. In Kiango, she processed with me. Me after going by myself. And that was so heart wrenching for me. I went to the hospital at like 3 o'clock in the day. 2 to 3 o'clock. I got admitted. Which we never know, so me admit. About 12 o'clock in the night, me said, Miss, you admit me. She said, Oh, you're admitted. I was sitting in a chair until like 1 o'clock. So. I went through all the process, uh, procedures. Um, Mr. Rose gave me my bag. I got my food and stuff like that. And um, 
I was admitted, but I was sitting on a chair for hours there at the hospital in the emergency room because once you're pregnant, I said, oh yeah, you are admitted. So I thought that I was just gonna spend the night there. First and foremost, I didn't get a bed. I didn't get admitted on the uh, maternity ward until the next day. I'm gonna know then tough table there, where people check you up. When I go to the doctor, I take it checked on. The lady was like, me. yeah, I was admitted on that. I had to sleep on that tough table. So I saw a lot of things in the emergency room. I saw people, broke up people, one foot people, what if on oxygen, I don't know who have COVID or what. And the doctor was like, oh no, you're not, you're not going home tonight. I break down, I start ball. I cry a lot of hospital, I don't tell a lie. Because I never want to stay. I cry because I didn't want to stay because I heard so so many bad things about the hospital. And the emergency room is like a little crumb of place. My ass, my all in the emergency room, see one girl meeting an accident, come in. She, and she jerk up so. And the friend of a um, bag of my mouth and sitting here of asthma attack. Well, and no, the nurse was like, I'm not like, yeah, the I'm doctor. Not happy to know, like, 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 somebody have a heart attack. The, the doctor was like, sick. take her up. She's okay. Um, She's just having a panic attack. Put something over her mouth and have her breathe. But she was in an accident. Little did I know, one next pregnant woman come in a ball. <laughs> a ball. She was in the accident and she was holding her belly. She was like six months pregnant. And she in a serious accident. She had feel pain. But I know she loves the baby. They have to give her one emergency injection and stuff like that. Anyways, the next day I saw so many bad things. Man broke up coming so by mash him up. And I so many things I saw in the hospital. There was this madman. You know mad this guy. He had not so wonderful. They had to strap him down in the chair. Don't go there. They had to strap him down in the chair and he was like What? He came over to me and I was like Do you have a scissor? Scissors. I need to cut this off. <laughs> yeah, dead. It was not funny. But I had to laugh um so the next day i got um admitted on the ward and my pressure was still high and i still had protein in my urine and i went on pressure medication right away and i was in the hospital for like four to five days being monitored up at hospital well at the once so fun the day after i had to get a fan because i couldn't sleep and then now what they did they gave me like four injections to develop the baby lung because I was like 78 weeks. Um, four injections, 36 weeks exactly. Sorry, 36 weeks, not 78 weeks, 36 weeks. So I had to, I got um, medication to develop the baby lungs because chances are I would be induced, and that's what happened. Um, after a while, I didn't get used to the hospital. We didn't have everything I need, so. I just sick myself, sleep. Um, I didn't eat the hospital food for the first time that I was admitted. And but then they no cook food. Yeah? yeah, they cook food, but I didn't eat it. Um, I always get food, like punky con care food and Mister Rose care food. Like I always have food there, hmm. and um, I saw a lot of things at the hospital huh. that traumatized me. So what happened? I got released after how about five days. And I got put on their Will you go away? You will? No, no, no. their high risk clinic. They were avoid cribbing the support baby. Yes. Um I got put on their high risk clinic and one of the things that I did, I was going to have the baby privately at a private institution. I pay a good amount of money in special care for I'm one day. Girl. I'm talking. I'm talking. I was gonna have the baby at a private institution, you know, with my doctor and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But mm -hmm. everything changed because I became a high risk patient. I had to come to the hospital to have the baby and stuff like that. <coughs> I want baby and the jungle. Excuse me, yeah. Um, I need something over to cover up on So it was one of the best decisions having the baby by the hospital because I would have um spent so much money maybe about 
half a million or more having this as a private institution because in the end i had to get an emergency c-section i had to be in the hospital for days after and days before so i'm not to know how the hospital did all that they did to assist me in the best way that they can i got a lot of tests done and they did a lot of checks i got a medication everything that i needed and if i was at a private institution chances i'm going to pay for me i tell you the truth so government the hospital don't in a full running but they're doing what they can when i'm at the hospital and i analyze what's happening there just for the government to feed the patients there the containers that they use are very expensive remember some do purchasing the containers are paper purchasing eco-friendly um containers they're very expensive um they get breakfast lunch and dinner breakfast lunch and supper come out of the camera breakfast lunch and supper they get free medication they get free checks they get blood work done everything you get well, it you free get drinks too, too. yes you get drinks too um everything you get done free if you're supposed to go to a private institution you pay a arm and a leg if you're a rich 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 you go to the hospital and get it done um my first time experience there was not that bad bad and yeah one of the problems that they had to um with me at the hospital they couldn't find my vein to take the blood from me like what like so one of the things that happened with me with my prenatal book my blood work and i, I used to go to the private uh -huh, a private doctor the blood work that was done for pregnant people was not written in the book so that i had to do over the blood work they codified my veins to take the blood and i feel juke juke me up and it was so you know what why would you say it's not annoying but me just couldn't bother like my break down a lot of times over that up there send up my pressure and see. but nonetheless i came out and i was doing well i had my medication and i had an appointment when I went to the next appointment, I 